Hey everybody, Julie here from Mostly Caffeinated. It has been a minute. I keep saying that. <laughs> it keeps being a really long time in between my videos. And, you know, I wish I could do this more frequently, but the reality of it is, it is just crazy time over here. And even on days when I'm not that busy, it seems like there's always something preventing me from sitting down and filming. There's a kid awake. There's a guy mowing the lawn outside, which there just was a second ago. Um, sometimes, now that it's summer vacation, my husband is home, and for some reason it's kind of strange to film videos when he's like on the other side of the wall there in the living room. And sometimes he's got the TV on. Anyway, not excuses, just reasons. But here I am today, and I had told you I would update you on those books I was reading in one of the last videos I updated. I'll link that up here because I don't actually have the books in front of me anymore, so if you want to see the covers <laughs> or hear you know, why I picked them up, you'll have to go there. But anyway, um, I had to return the books to the library because, you know, I renewed them a whole bunch of times and racked up a week's worth of fines before I got them returned. <laughs> I know there's got to be people out there who either work in libraries or volunteer in libraries or are a library trustee like myself and owe library fines like on the monthly because I totally do. And one of the other trustees who sits on the board with me also owes a lot of library fines. So we always joke that like the income line where they list the fines um, that they've taken in in cash money is like mostly the two of us every time we meet. But it's not that I don't know I have the books. It's just I don't get them done. And I'd rather pay, you know, like a dollar and return it to the library a week late and finish it than either buy the whole book myself or not finish it. <laughs> so there it is. Anyway, I returned them all, so I don't have the covers to show you, but if you reference that video, well, I'll try to link the books down below, and I'll try to be clear when I talk. Uh, the first one that I had was My Own Words by Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I did not finish that book. I renewed it and renewed it and renewed it, and I didn't get it done. Not that it wasn't good. It was good. I think the problem was when I tried to read it, because it, it's nonfiction. It's like her essays examples of her writing, you know, articles she published, stuff like that. So it's, it's non-fiction-y. And that was what I tried to keep on my nightstand and read before I went to bed. I can't read non-fiction before I go to bed. I'm, like, not awake enough. Um, I don't know if other people read this way, but the way I read is I don't necessarily read all the words on the page, and I don't necessarily read every line or every sentence in a paragraph. I sort of speed read, but it's not true speed reading. It's somewhere between, like, actual word-by-word -word reading and speed reading. So as I, like, very quickly read, you know, and try to determine what I can and cannot skip, in fiction that works pretty well. At least for me it does. But in nonfiction, you really can't skip. Or the, the structure of the sentences and paragraphs is different or something. And I find myself missing things or having to read word for word. And I can't do that when I'm tired. So that didn't work out. I read like the first fourth of it. It was very interesting. I would love to take it again and read it. Um, I think I put it on hold on Libby, which used to be Overdrive, which is the ebooks for public libraries. I think I have it on hold there. Maybe I can get through more of it if it's an ebook. We'll see. Then I had checked out... Having a Martha Home the Merry Way, which was actually really, really good. I think I want to buy that book for myself to own. It was like one part housekeeping, one part devotional. And essentially, a chapter at a time, it went through kind of ideology about keeping a neat and tidy home, as well as keeping kind of a peaceful spirit about the whole thing, not being rushed and crazed about homemaking. And I really, really liked it. And it had kind of a worksheet at the end of every chapter where you could write down your thoughts about the chapter, write down like a plan of action, and then it had cleaning tasks. The idea of the book was that you did a chapter a day and a cleaning task a day, and by the end of, I don't know how long it was supposed to take, your whole house would be like deep cleaned. Well, I didn't do it that way. I kind of did like a page a week. <laughs> but I was enjoying the process before I had to return it. Um, I couldn't write in it, so I took a separate notebook and was writing the questions and answers, which was a little tedious. Um, so that's why I might buy my own copy so that I can actually write in it and, you know, keep it as long as I need to. But I highly recommend that one. And what was the other one? No, I had three books out. Just a second. That's right. 
Okay, the other book I had out was fiction. It was The Dante Club, which promised to be a mystery about authors in um, Victorian America. I didn't finish that one either. I am having this problem with fiction lately, where if it's not an Outlander book, <laughs> I can't seem to finish it without picking up another Outlander book in the middle. It's not like I haven't read the Outlander series. I have read all eight books that are out at least three times. <laughs> I don't, I can't explain this. They are just, the writing style, the voice of the author is just ridiculous. It 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 is just, like, if I could write fiction, that's what I would sound like. And I just can't quit them. I just can't read anything else. It's driving me insane. I refuse, refuse to refuse to buy the next one. Um, like, I don't own them all. I took them all out from the library the three times. I own one to five. And I refuse to buy the sixth one until I get some other books read, because seriously, this is nuts. <sighs> so I didn't finish the Dante Club, because part of the way through the Dante Club, I put it down and picked up Outlander again. There's no excuse for me. You like what you like, right? Not that it wasn't good. It's just by the third or fourth chapter, it hadn't really sucked me in yet. I probably needed to read more. But I've been spoiled by Diana Gabaldon's books. They hook you on page one. <laughs> you don't have to wait like four or five chapters to get into it like you do with most novels. <sighs> so I didn't finish that one, and I returned it. Of course, I returned Patterns for Theatrical Costumes because, you know, the musical is over for the year. So I returned it. I don't need to keep it for my own use or anything. And right now I have taken out a new book because my local coffee shop runs a book club in the summer. And I have always wanted to be part of a book club. Like, since I was, like, 11 years old, I've wanted to be part of a book club. So I'm like, this is the year. I'm going to be part of this book club. So I checked out the book club book with one week left until the meeting. <laughs> Wish me luck, but I'm like a fifth of the way through, so I'm, I only started it yesterday. I read like a fifth of it last night, so I think I'm going to be okay. It's called The Taster by... Don't remember. The Taster. It's about um, a woman who was like a poison tester, an uh, official food taster for Hitler. I don't know if this has any basis in reality or not, but it's good so far. I'm liking it. So there's that. That's what I'm reading right now. The Taster by somebody. Sorry. I'll link it, okay? It's not in front of me right now. But there we are. It's a little seven-minute update for you about the books that I'm currently reading and the books that I returned to the library because I couldn't finish them. Ding! See you guys around. Bye.